Hello and welcome to a new episode of Time and Time Again. With me, Morn1415 and my virtual assistant, CUG. Today I would like to talk about time again. As you know, CUG, I think a lot about time. And I want you to help me again with an experiment this time. I've noticed that time is a recurring theme. What's the reason for that? I just think it's a thing that everyone thinks he knows, but when you ask people what time actually is, they don't have an answer. I find that fascinating. Also, sometimes people have misconceptions about time. Our brain often deceives us about time scales. It also misjudges time depending on feelings. When you are sitting on a hot stove, a minute can be an eternity. When you can only see a loved one for a minute, that feels too short. When it comes to very large periods of time, such as geological, our brain fails completely. It's simply not built to imagine something that's longer than a lifetime. It fails already with shorter historical periods. For example, COG, check out an old TV show called I've Got a Secret. Okay. As far as I can see, this aired on CBS from 1952 to 1967. Do you think it's possible that someone who was in the studio back then is still alive today? It's quite possible. Someone could have been there at the age of 20 and be 80 years of age now. What if I told you once in a show they had two elderly ladies as guests whose grandfather was a soldier in the war? I wouldn't be surprised. After all, there were two world wars in the same century before the show. That's true, but I'm not talking about those wars. I'm talking about the Revolutionary War. The war that led to American independence from Great Britain and the founding of the United States of America. I see. In purely mathematical terms, it's possible. But most people would be surprised by that fact. Oh, they would. Another time they had a guest who, as a child, saw Abraham Lincoln being assassinated in a theater. Most people think the content of their history books is about something that is far away. But it is usually much closer than we think. It still surrounds us. Even buildings that are thousands of years old. But in terms of geological time, we underestimate periods of time. Can I tell you a joke, CUG? I am only able to have a rough concept of humor but I would gladly take part in the experiment. The geologist is hammering on rocks on a mountain. An old local man asks him what he's doing. He says, I'm looking for fossils, seashells, ammonites and fish. You know, there used to be an ocean once here. The old man says, look, I've always lived here. Even my great grandfather was born here. I can assure you, there never has been an ocean here. I guess it's funny because the old man has no idea about the extent of geological time periods. That's true. I'm glad you're such a joke stand understood that. Is that a form of sarcasm now? Yes, but anyway, so my goal is to make people understand geologic time periods. The time in which continents shift, mountains grow or life originated. There is already a good thought experiment in this regard. What if the entire lifetime of the Earth from its formation to the present was a single year? When would certain events have happened then? That way you can see that life would have originated as early as February 25, but didn't evolve into the abundant fauna and flora we know until December. Dinosaurs ruled for a good part of December, while humans didn't come on stage until noon of the last day of the year. Everything we think of human history has happened in the last minute, and modern technology has only been around for seconds. Because in this thought experiment, a second is already more than a human lifetime. And think about how many seconds there are in a year. This is basically a very good analogy. And of course, one could also go ahead and represent the entire history of the Earth in such a nice overview. But here you still don't understand how much a time span you can imagine would be in relation. That's why you must help me, CUG. We will do an experiment again. I would like to help. What exactly do you want me to do? As you know, the best way to understand things is by doing it yourself. That's why I want to mention our sponsor first, Brilliant. They create interactive problems and courses, no matter how good you are in understanding things already. Here you got the chance to improve. 
according to your abilities and it's a lot of fun. You train your critical thinking by trying to figure things out. They also show you a step-by-step -step solution. It's an awesome way to grasp things. You can learn algebra, statistics or algorithms. There will be tons of things you have not known before. And there are millions of people learning on Brilliant already. With this link that you can also find in the description, you can start for free. The first 200 who do that will also get 20% off an annual membership. The only way to grow your mind is by challenging yourself. That also goes for artificial intelligence. So here's my challenge, COG. Just draw some lines for me. I like to imagine things in a visual way. I want to understand how much a year, a period of time I know, is in relation to the age of the Earth. So just draw as many lines as the Earth is years old. That would be too many lines. You would not recognize anything anymore. The Earth is 4.54 billion years old. Four and a half billion lines would be a bit confusing. Well then, give them different colors. For example, create four red lines, each corresponding to one billion years. Then divide the space between them ten times with lines in a different color. That would be 100 million years distance. Then divide them again, 10 million years, a different color again, and so on. I want to know what it looks like until I see individual years. I see. I'll create them on a surface in three-dimensional space, and then I will get closer with the camera. I think that's more visually appealing. One moment, please. Calculating. Cool. Looking forward. Done. These red lines are now a billion years apart each. That's how old the Earth is. This is where it was formed, and this is where we are now. Okay, and can we zoom in now? I want to know how much a year is. Exactly. Can I ask you to fasten your seatbelt? <laughs> Was that the joke? Affirmative. Here's the approach until we see years. 54321, ignition. That's single years. Whoa, crazier than I imagined it would be. I can't say my brain grasped this correctly. I wanted to see it anyway. From now on, I look at representations of geological times with different eyes. Thanks a lot, CUG. You're welcome. When I look at this, thinking about how much time has already passed on this planet, I also wonder about the future it might have, with or without humans. I think that would be a good topic for a future video. I'm sure it would be. It's really crazy to think that all time each single person is available is 100 of those white lines in best case. Can you zoom out again? I'm on 1415 and the real world is incredible.